We're going to do this one. This one. There. Okay. Can you, Loretta, can you send them to the other one? StreamYard was not having it. Is there any way you can send them to the other one? Okay. And then I'll delete the other one or whatever. I don't know why it's doing that. But you know, let me see. She can, hey, I know. I got to fix it where the other one doesn't exist anymore. Hold on. Let's make it go away, shall we? Let me go into here. Um... Then I'm going to delete this one. Um, Y'all are so sweet being patient. Hold on. What are you doing? Hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me delete this one. Hold on, Sawyer Brown. Um, let's delete that one. Delete forever. That seems awfully permanent. Okay. Now we should be good. Now we should be good. I deleted the other one. Hello, Jocelyn. There. Now I can fix that. Um... There's that, and there we go. Let me pop it out. Yeah, it was, for whatever reason, it was, like, not the normal thing where you can just um, go through StreamYard and it shows your broadcast. It didn't work, so I don't know. Hello, Jude. Hey, Presley. How's work going, Presley? Um, there's a chicken walking by. It's good to see you guys. Sorry I didn't make it here last night, but I was, um, time sometimes gets away from me, but I am giving you a different view this time. Um, yeah, this time you have a totally different view. I think you can see, can you see the bedroom behind me? I don't know what you can see. Um, so, Today, I actually made time, and so I scheduled it so that I could have, like, time management, and I could, you know, get there at the right time, and then it didn't connect, but it doesn't matter. You guys are so patient. Thank you for coming over here. You know, sometimes I don't have a clue. Um, so the chickens in the classroom are hatching. One has already hatched, and the rest are hatching, and the kids are so excited. Hey, Melinda. And, um, like, I think that it's, this is why I think it's cool. That's something that they can take with them forever. And even if they end up having their own chicken someday or something like that, um, they'll probably, it'll be one of those things where they always remember that in second grade, um, they, um, in second grade, they watched eggs hatch. Um, let me see here. I'm not sure. Let me make sure it comes back out. It looks like there's already silliness going on. Um, Paula, I'm not sure why you're not modded. Can you send me a text real quick and say that it's you? Because I don't understand where your um, wrench went. And I would like to do that. I always think, man, if we're already off to this, then then it's, but I'm going to laugh it off and make it work. Hey, at the end of the day, how are you? I'm going to be more careful than some people and make sure that it's actually someone I know. 
because I don't want to. Um, oh, you're right. Stitching. See, leave it to stitching to get me back on track. Yeah, I'm going to see. Hold on. I can do it just like that. And then I'll, I won't be so scattered. Just let me make sure everything's as it should be. And there we'll go. There. I don't know if it's going to keep the... Yeah, that's her. Okay. So, um, Sawyer, you just went outside. Let me see. Yeah, there's something out there, isn't there? You always want to see what's out there. What's everyone up to today? Hey, Lemon Squeezy. Is anybody else enjoying the fact that it is... Oh, it's Tuesday. I thought it was Wednesday. And every time it's Wednesday, I get excited. Um, Sean is off tomorrow. So I'm excited about that. We'll go to lunch and do things and, and play with the chickens and play with each other and stuff like that. Um, thank you. Um, I This is uh, Two Faced. And I think it's called like, I want to say like Snatched or something crazy like that. But uh so we'll, we've already, we cleaned it out last week, but the second one we're going to do and the, the classroom chickens, there's already people that have chickens that want them. So that's good. We don't have to like try to, um, keep them or find them homes. And they know that they have to take, uh, they can take no less than three and there are six that look like it's going to hatch. So two different ones will be able to um, take them home. And they're people that already have chickens. So that's good. Hey, Dee, how are you? Um, you have, let's see, wish it was Friday. I just planted 101 gallon plants in the brutal Florida sun. Oh my gosh. Yes. I look, you guys, this is, I told you yesterday that my nails were ratchet. They've already popped off. Thank God. Um, I was not happy with them. But the other thing is that I, um, I'm going to put the chickens and the deer eat all the things I try to plant in the springtime. So I'm going to put fake flowers. Um, I mean, Sean thinks I'm funny, but if you get like, nobody's going to know that they're not real. You know what I mean? Like, so that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully I love it when Hobby Lobby has their flowers 50% off. Because that, um, that's when I stock up, especially the roses that look super real. That's when I get those um, and make different things with them. I like to get the, the faux water and put like two roses in, in a vase or whatever. And then if you give it to someone for an occasion or like if they're sick or have surgery, um, they're usually pretty relieved when you say they're and they're not real. So they will last forever. And it's actually not that... Um, expensive if you catch them on sale. So I do that. I even have a couple in here, but I'm not sure where they are right now. I have, but, um, what happens? They get turns green blue quickly in the sun. Okay. But what about like the flowers? Um, Jocelyn is adorable. So for those of you who haven't seen her video, she's done two now, but the one yesterday, she addressed the fact that basically, um, another creator, was accusing uh, myself and Sean, probably mainly me, of grooming her for the DC. Um, I don't know if this creator understands what grooming is, and I'm not even trying to be nasty, but that is a pretty big allegation to throw a direction. And it's also the silliest thing that I've ever heard to groom somebody for the drama community. Um that that's not what grooming means. Do you know what I mean? Like that has nothing to do with it. So she threw it out there. Um, and then Jocelyn countered it and gave her opinion. Um, I was impressed. Sean was super impressed. Jocelyn, you're well-spoken, but you're still kind of raw where when you, um, speak, you can tell that it's like, you're just telling your opinion. And that's what takes off here is just giving your opinion. You know what I mean? Um, so just keep up with her. I love that she's open about her mental health and yes. And then Angela said that, um, she knew for a fact that Jocelyn was 19. Um, she is not, but I have a feeling that even though me and the, uh, the Samster don't get along, 
I have a feeling that um, she knows that everything that that one says is either wrong or misrelayed. She's toying with you, Angela. She's toying with you. And you are loving it. You think that you found your place. Anyway, um, so yeah, check out Jocelyn's. Um, I hate to say she's as cute as a button because she's in her 20s, but she is. I think she's both beautiful and she's got that kind of, um, I think she's going to keep that sort of youthful energy like her whole life, like it's her personality. Sometimes when she texts me, she's got me rolling some of the stuff that she says. Because when I was like, well, I just don't want, you know, people to come for you. She's like, and do what? <laughs> she was like, um, my family doesn't care about social media and I don't. It was so funny. And I was like, okay, I guess that makes sense. Um, so anyway, that was cool. I'm very excited about people starting to be, and I, it's a public video. So it's not like I can, that I'm, you know, telling a secret, but she's, she's open, um, saying that she does have, um, BPD. She's in, um, therapy for it. And she has, you know, I don't know how long she's been diagnosed, but she's been seeing a therapist since she was 11. And, uh, that's so cool because, from what I understand and people, hey, dark, hey, khaki, someone can correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't um, BPD, which is borderline personality disorder, isn't it best treated um, with just intensive therapy, right? Um, so, but she's super, ex like she's expressive about the fact that she's like, yes, I, I've got people that I consider friends. I consider, you know, Mandy a good, yeah, there you go. Good friends. And she's like, but I can't say that anyone is, you know, about, you know, just, just, you have to look, you have to watch it and you'll be like, you'll be, you'll understand. She's very self-aware, very, very, very self-aware. And I love that. Um, I remember when Trisha Paytas came out and saying that she was, uh, had borderline personality disorder and it used to be something I feel like when people would be diagnosed with it, they wouldn't want to tell anybody because they felt like people would write them off because of this disorder. And now people are starting um, to understand that it is treatable. Thank you, Jocelyn, um, that it is treatable and it's treatable with different types of things and that you're able to have relationships and friendships as long as you keep that, that um, you keep that line of communication open where, uh, people understand that you are not, um, you know, like if you think that they're going to help you, <laughs> I think this sounds bad, like bury a body or whatever that, that they might, but it's not that deep for them. And I think that that's, that's freaking awesome. Yes. You got to realize when the, it's your BPD is kicking in. Absolutely. Yeah, it's, yeah, nobody, I don't understand what that's about. Um, oops, hold on. I don't understand what that's about because the, um, uh, I don't understand what that's about, like, because um, everyone deserves to be happy. Um, I guess sometimes with exes, it becomes, um you know, a situation where whatever their history is and their, the way that it went, they don't want them to be happy for a period of time, especially if it's a pretty tumultuous divorce. But when you start getting it into the four year mark, um, with absolutely no contact that that person has got was zero contact with you. And for four years has been zero contact with you has successfully divorced you without without having to, um, have a conversation, then it, we get it. You're so, we get that you're happy. He's gone. You don't like any of his characteristics. You don't like the way he does anything that you hated, that you were miserable. We get it. Lucky for you. He's now my husband and not yours. So this should be the time when instead of holding on to this, um, sort of resentment and, um, the resentment and the, the bitterness at the fact that you feel like he wasted your time. It's time for you to, to pick yourself up, 
you know, let it go and start not talking about it. Um, exactly. I hate to be like that, but it, it, especially when, when things are said, like, this is how I know he's still in love with me. I literally cringe when that gets said. I literally cringe because at four years, that shouldn't even be a factor. Um, I hope you're at least just saying it, you know, to get back at me. Um, hey, Carlos, the, um, you know, at least just to get back at me. Um, the, my other half is not watching. And unless I tell him, he doesn't know because he really doesn't care. The, the one thing that you can both agree on is that that marriage was no bueno that it was toxic, that it was awful, that it probably should. Thank you, D. Got to move on. No, and yes, um, that that it was y'all were not meant to be together, right? It was not meant to be. So I totally like understand, um, you know, for a period of time being like, well, that wasted ten years of my life. I don't understand four years with no contact. That I don't get. So, um, and it wasn't just, uh, me who, who felt that way. You, you talked about Sean to your, to your other one as well. Hold on one second. Um, I'm going to take this off. Sorry. Let's see. Hold on. Oh, shoot. There it is. Okay. I wanted to take something off of the fridge so that um, <laughs> people wouldn't see it. So uh, that's 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 all I have to say about that. I know that there is a um, assumption on her part that somehow that we're still holding on, um, but I think that you can see that we don't. Okay, look. This was the other thing I grabbed. Who likes this? Come on, Paula and 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 Jocelyn, speak up. Do you like this? You know, it usually comes in a great big um, can or whatever. It now comes in boxes. I love it. Where is it? This is the strawberry banana nectar. Where is this one from? Um, where is it made? Anyway. This, this is my favorite kind and it's in a box instead of the big like can with the lid. So I'm digging it. I saw someone drinking it at the school where the eggs are hatching. And so I was like, oh my gosh, it's in a box now. Um, you haven't tried it? Jocelyn is so funny. Like she's always like, you know, I know what it is. Um, and this was given to Sean by his mom for Christmas. And I think it's exceptionally funny because of the fact that what someone's always saying about him. Um, oops, I still have the tag on it. I didn't even realize that. But isn't that funny? It's it, I hang it right on his little plant. Someone asked me about it because it was it was hanging on the side and they couldn't really see the front of it. It is funny, right? I was like, you don't know how funny that is. And y'all saw his plants last time. I may move to that direction. Um, you might be more interested in seeing what's going on that direction than this direction. Let me know. I can make it, I can make it happen. I won't depress y'all by seeing this room. Um, apparently it's funeral furniture. Um, I, I guess someone doesn't like my taste. It is none of that furniture except the table is from my in-laws. It's all from a thrift shop. So just focus on the other living room that has the beige couch and the lighter colors. And then just act like that one doesn't exist if it triggers you or makes you think of a funeral home. I certainly don't want you to think of a funeral home. Um, but yeah, only that table. And that table's from Ethan Allen. So it's not like... You know, I got some hand-me-down like craziness or whatever. You guys, I can't. I can't with her. It's um, thank you. I I can't because 
the the things that are said make me laugh. It they 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 make me laugh because they're so and I know, thank you, where they're coming from is she's not coming up with this stuff herself. She's not coming up with this, these things that she thinks she's getting them from those rejected rejects that have decided to hold on to her apron strings over there. And so she tries to um, insult with it. And it's like, yeah, exactly. And, and I know who you're getting your information from because they used to give it to me. The difference is I would roll my eyes and not pass it on. You actually put it up there as fact. So yeah, the... The um the rejected rejects. That's all I can say about him. Um, Sawyer and Scout are playing, but um, I find it entertaining most of the time. Um, Jude, someone does has said that they can't see you before. I remember. Um, I'm watching this conversation in the group thing about um. We're in, it's three of us, the teacher in the classroom, Sean and me. And she's, she's like stressed because not all of them have hatched yet. And it's so cute because Sean's like, it's totally normal. It's okay. Um, yeah, the, it, that's, I just, um, I'm pretty sure Karen owns chickens. Some other people in here own chickens or have owned chickens. It's a very in thing to do. It's a very yuppie um, kind of hipster thing to do to have your own chickens. So it, it's not like we, we, uh, that anybody has the market on it. It is just a thing that people do. So there's, you know, I'm, I don't know, again, don't go for my car and don't go for my chickens. They don't have anything to do with it. They, they are innocent. You can hate me, not the chickens. So anyway, I'm not, I'm trying to make a pun, but I, um, I find it entertaining. It did. You're right. I find it extremely entertaining when she's on a tangent about me and Sean. Um, mainly, I guess it's no, mainly Sean cause he doesn't care or know. So it's not hurting his feelings and it wouldn't anyway, because he knows now that all that absurdity is not true. Um, <laughs> thing, yeah. It, it, it's insane. Um, and I guess I like the thing yesterday about, Hey, Cassandra zooming in on a Coke bottle and his video games. Okay. Hey, Nina, let me just let you know, we have two TVs in the bedroom. We have a bigger one on the wall and we have the, um, video game one. And you know what? Sometimes when we're laying together, he's playing video games and watching sports on the TV. Oh shit. Hey Holly, how does that strike you? That's what he does. Not all the time, but sometimes if he can't decide between video games and playing a basket and watching a basketball game, he does both. And I love that he does both. I absolutely love it. He deserves it. Um, Sean has lived a thousand lives um, including a tour in Iraq that he has, um, the, the, you know, the remnants, the PTSD, he works on it. He's, um, he is in such a good place. He deserves to sit there and play video games and watch basketball. If that's what he wants to do, he doesn't do it all the time. He certainly doesn't do it at the expense of our time together, but if he likes to unwind and do that after he works 10 hours a day, well, sometimes eight, but 10 hours a day, that is, that's what he's going to do. Um, I don't feel underappreciated. I don't feel ignored. Um, I feel like um, that gives me the opportunity to lay there and we talk. It's not like we don't have a conversation. I ask him questions. He asks me questions about my day and that's how he unwinds. It's better than drinking a bottle of wine. Beastie is better than that. Yeah. He's, he's, um, you know, a lot of people think that I, I tout him to the, to the point that I say he's perfect and he's not, nobody's perfect. And I'm not saying that what I'm saying is that, um, he's perfect for me and he sure is crazy about me, um, as well. So I think that the coming out of that, um, 
Yes, he sure did. Coming out of, you know, that mess of a, of a, you know, I guess you can call it a marriage. I don't know. But after coming out of that mess that he found someone and left the opportunity for her to find her person, I think that's kind of a happy ending, is it not? Um, if he was so, if he made you so miserable and he um, was so cruel to you, now that you're free and he's found someone that's perfect for him, then um, I kind of see it's a win-win, right? I mean... It, you say your person's out there. They probably are. Um, it's going to take a, you're not going to find another Sean. I'm just telling you that you're most people that are at the age of what you're at have seen crazy. They've seen the kind of um, behaviors that you exhibit in their life. They may have had, they may have even been married to somebody like that. So it's going to be harder if you don't work on yourself. Um, you know what I mean? Like, like it's going to be harder if you, if you don't do some self-reflection and let go of some things. Just saying. Okay. Um, but anyway, so we talked about the fake plants. I've heard they'll turn colors. Um, I, I think what's going to end, because nobody, you don't want to cover it with chicken wire. If you put a chicken wire all the way around it, then it's not as pretty. You know what I mean? So I don't want to put anything like, is there anything that deters chewing from deer and um, chickens that's like, like, you know how you can have a pest repellent that plugs in or whatever? Because I'm thinking about plugging one of those into the chicken coop. Hey, Karen, um, Sharp. Oh, you can drop that link in here. Shar posted a video, gave her backstory. If you have that, um, drop it in here by all means. For those of you who haven't been here since the beginning, um, Shar used to do reviews um, of the beast and uh, she, her friend, um, she goes by Yorkshire Lass, I think now. Um, she did it as well. They're going to start it back up again. So um, I think that it's going to be fabulous because we haven't heard their opinion on it in a very long time. Like they were around in the very, very beginning and so much has happened since then. I can't wait um, to hear kind of where they're at with it now. Um, unless you use deer cages to protect every plant, but your garden one. That, that's exactly. Oh, thank you, Karen. Um, D, you're so sweet. Um, that That is what I'm talking about. Like, I don't want it to, to um, look like it's in a prison. Um, and I also, and I know it's, I'm kind of uh, picky about like researching these things of what the, that, the chickens, like these plants, some of them can be toxic, right? It's, it's like, I don't think that like, well, I don't know. Sometimes I think out in the roughage out there, I think they're eating something that's, um, I got to do some research. I think they're eating something out there. So I pro will probably end up putting up a fence, but they love to make their way around these houses, the people love it and they'll throw, you know, feed out to them and stuff like that. So, um, I love it. Sawyer's reduced to eating dry food because mom didn't give him his wet food because he needs to eat his dry food. So he's looking at me disdainfully. Aren't you Sawyer? You looking at me disdainfully? You want to say, let's see. Can you see him? You eating dry food? You eating dry food? Mom didn't give you your, no, no, see, and then the cat wants to come eat it. It's like a whole thing. So he looks at me and then looks at the food like, you're really going to make me, make me chew it, like whatever. Um. Oh, I didn't even see, I, I didn't even, y'all get catch the trolls. I never even see them. Um. A lot of, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Loretta and, oh no, 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 no. Don't leave the site. Loretta and Karen, well, all of you really, 
that have have been in the trenches of people's um, streams who they have to be ready on the wrench because they they are complete. They're always trolled. I think that um, it's just a waste of time. Like I've said, hey Sean. I think it's a waste of time to create an entire account, put a troll picture, go and say one thing and then be hidden. And then you get discovered because if you change the name to something else, when you go look in your hidden user area of uh, YouTube studio, you see that that what their name has been changed to. And I've seen some crazy things that they've been changed to. So, um, I remember this, yeah, that when the sniper wolf trolls came in back then, that was insane. There were so many of them. Um, Evo and Dawn dish soap with water and a spray bottle. Over oh, the plants, Betsy, to keep the keep the plants away. Yeah, that that's I love that too. She's like, he's not even working. He's on YouTube all day. No, he just pops in to say hello. But you just believe what you want to believe. I can't the the that that pigsty that I saw yesterday. Um, I love it when she acts the fool when I'm cooking dinner before Sean gets home because I can listen to it and have a good chuckle. Um, but that yesterday I was like, dude, you clean houses for a living. You live in a pigsty. I mean, it is what it is, but like you. <laughs> It's a mess. I don't think that I would want you to to uh, clean my house if that's what it looked like. I work all day in call. Yeah, you put you put one earbud in and you do your thing and you can listen to anything, especially if there's not a lot of visual. Um, yeah, I know. I can't see what they're saying, but I do see the names of the trolls. They're, they, someone got creative. It's because I scheduled the stream. Whenever I schedule the stream, it gives people like a second to make their troll accounts. And so, I mean, I'll give them credit for that, but I, I'm not going to get too worked up about it. We should <laughs> care. And I should pin that. Um, let's see. Let me, can I pin it from here? Good, good, good. The whole reason that I went live on the laptop was because normally to join your own stream that you schedule, you have to be on the laptop. So that's why it's so weird that it didn't work today. And I really do hate to be like late because you guys are always here ready. And I was like, oh, we're going on 10 minutes, but I'm going to fix it. Karen's got some one liners that are um, well between Loretta and Karen, Jocelyn, um, Sarah, the, all of you really. But the the wit and the, the hilarity gets me every single time. I think we have cool peeps that that seem to. Um, to find each other. And then when someone gets, you know, crazy and messy, they go over there to the rejected rejects. Um, there's something else that they're called. Uh, well, not really, but the rejected rejects are the, that's my favorite one because all of them started over here. Yes, we do try to keep it wholesome or whatever it is. Um, if I sat here and, and like drug the hell out of people, which I don't really consider it dragging because I think when people say, I'll drag you to hell, I think that it makes them sound like they think they're tough. And I don't really think that any of us that are online are really tough because we don't know each other in real life. So who knows who could fight who in real life. But um, that's why I would like to just see how many people just want to talk about bullshit. Like, you know what I mean? Not get nasty and, and down in the, down in the weeds. Um, their khaki, the crazy laughs is when you find the, <laughs> you see the crazy and laugh is when you, that's what I'm saying. Um, you, your streams give people, yeah, that's what I try to, to think about. Like Jocelyn had said that, look, here comes, oh, he jumped down. Um, that's what I try to think about when, like when Jocelyn said, you know, some people's chats, you go in and you watch and when you leave, you just feel slimy and dirty and you don't feel like you heard a good, you know, a good comeback or clap back. You feel like you just heard the nastiest stuff and you need to take a shower. And that's what I've always said. Some, sometimes when people go so, so low 
and and say that like it doesn't matter who it's about. You feel like you need to shower afterwards because there is a certain um, type of person that goes to those chats like that hang out with um, with Sam and they're people that um, they'll, I mean, there's lurkers, but the people that participate are just as disturbed as she is. And I don't know what like in their real lives from day to day, I'm quite sure they don't act like that because they wouldn't have a job, a spouse, you know, they wouldn't have any of that. The only thing that I can think of is that this is the um, only place that they can go and be as nasty as they want to and as bitter and dark as they want to and hide behind with some sort of anonymity. I do not think that, um, that these people I mean, there's, there's some in particular that, cause OG, the, I mean, people have been, and I'm not going to name the names, there's social workers, there's, um, I mean, there, there's teachers, there's all kinds of things. And then th the types of, of, uh, things that are said by them in people's chats or on, on panels behind their avi are just disgusting. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't think that they act like that in their real life. I mean, hell, even this, I don't act like, I think I don't, in my real life, people um, don't have, you know, any idea like what a clapback is or what a, what a um, dragging is. They don't know anything about that. So it's, it's interesting how we all kind of come on here and we are who we are. But then when we sign off, some of us go back to living and do our, you know, our regular day to day stuff. And then some of us carry this whole thing with them all day long. Um, they think about this all day long. And I just don't. I don't. Um, I'm not on Twitter as much as I used to because you know, I first of all, it's gotten too complicated to even use. You know what I mean? Like there's it's it, they've added so many like bells and whistles and different things like that, that it's, it's not like it used to be where you could easily track whatever. Um, but I do love, there's a lot of tea that goes on on Twitter, lots of fun stuff like that. Uh, but no one, yeah, it's, um, the, no one collects all of them just files for clicks online. Yeah, exactly. Um, and that's what they say they talk about well now now carlos the thought of those two, okay don't don't they talk about it in bed oh oh that just threw up in my mouth a little bit um i don't we don't um i'll catch them up on the tea but you guys see most of the time i'm catching them up on what's going on when we're live that's kind of like when we reserve the time to talk about it and it's an interesting, um, it's ironic in this situation because it's where uh, YouTube beefs cross over into whatever because that was an actual ex-placeholder. Well, I guess you don't say ex-placeholder. You say she was a placeholder. So there was some sort of in real life relationship there. But like Sean said a bunch of times, we're so many years out by now. It's just a, a YouTube beef now. There's, there's us and our... Our, that we're married and there's our house and our life and our chickens and all of that. And then there is, um, really who is that here, here for this mess, having bookship lines with folders who is so, and then that becomes in real life. You see what I'm saying? Like, instead of watching Sean and what he was going through before, and I guess what she was going through, although it wasn't like she explains it, that was an, a, an, real life situation. And then that one is now done and we're together and we have our life and that's a real life situation. But as far as currently, it's just a YouTube beef. That's all it is with her and him. And I guess she probably makes some good money talking about it because no one wants to watch her pick out seeds and um, talk about nothing. No, there's nobody who watches that. She has to talk about us. She has to. Um, that's all there is, or nobody will watch either us or Paula or Moxie or someone. 
And the lower she goes, the more numbers that she gets. I don't, I would not want to, I would not want to have my, um, her, like a monetized channel where that's what you rely on going live for at least an hour and talking as nasty, nasty, nasty as you can so that people will watch. Yeah. Everyone agrees that he's cute. Even if they don't like us, Sawyer Brown is cute. Um, let's see. Let me see. I'm going to go up here. Hello. Um, I think it's LP. I can't see it very clearly, but hello. Hello. Um, let me see. Did Kathy apologize for something? Oh my gosh, you guys write that in the almanac. No, I'm just kidding. Um, let's see. Um, yes, Sarah. Thank you. I like that. Let's pin that. And let's see. You can't really. Hey, Moxie. It's good to see you. I did it. Okay. Moxie's posts, I think they're absolutely hilarious because really, what you know what they say, a picture is a thousand words. So, you know, that it's, it's a picture does, it's, it's a thousand words or whatever. And, um, I think, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know why the sudden zoom ins on ears and different things like that. And, and the obsession with yeast, I don't, that, that, is interesting to me that supposedly we just roll around in yeast. It's everywhere all over our body. Um, <laughs> that does make me laugh. I don't, um, I don't know, like, I don't know where that came from, but it, it it's funny. She's reaching because, um, yeah, she says that Sean's got it in his ears. I have it in every part of my body. Where else does she say he has it? She said somewhere else he's got it too. And it's, oh, it's in my fingernails. It's in my, like, it, it's, it's everywhere. And that makes me laugh. Yeah. I mean, well, when she said you can, do you want to see my butt crack? I'm like the whole world has seen your butt crack. It's all over the internet. Why would you have to show it to me? Yeah, she her information is incorrect. Most of the time when she goes to like insult or say something, it's stuff that someone told her and she didn't really listen to it. <laughs> oh my God. She didn't really listen to it. So she runs with it and it doesn't, it it's not accurate when she tells it. And I, I that's that's what makes it even funnier. It she's not good at the clapbacks, let's be honest. She's not good at the, the insults. They're, they're, <laughs> they're just not. It. What's a Grand Canyon? Well, Jocelyn, you don't want to know. It's, it's, it's a black hole. It's a um, cavernous area. Um, I, I'm not going to go beyond. That. <laughs> it's not normal. Like a kid, I'm waiting for her to stoop <laughs> in the midst. Or, yeah, you, I just can't. I mean, I it's entertaining, I'll give you that. I don't listen to it, you know, when Sean's home, obviously. And if it's on public, then the next time I'm doing, um, like Aaron, I mean, yeah, Aaron's or working or whatever, I'll, um, I'll, I'll listen to it if it's not dirty, deleted, but, sh but no, it's, I don't, he, he doesn't. <laughs> He, can't, he doesn't have any desire to listen to that. It looks like, yeah, but here's the thing. Oh, Jesus. Um, that you're exactly right. And, and sh look, I don't, I don't think that it is worth getting worked up about when people post bad screenshots of you because anybody can capture, uh, a moment when, when it, it's like it's anyone, anyone, they can be talking about the weather or whatever, oh my God. but this scout, but it, it's, it, you have to just not let it bother you. You know what I mean? Like, but hers are exceptionally 
cringy. I'll give her that. Look, that's Scout. Scout, Scout. Say hi, Scout, Scout. Say hi. Scout. Say hi. He said no. He said no, not today or whatever. Um, yeah, Paula's got some good ones too. I don't think, I, I think that people have to also realize that when we come on here, used to you could hide behind the anonymity of the internet and say whatever you wanted and, and not have to, you know, worry about, we've seen, you know, real life, but lately we've seen these internet beefs that do go into real life. Um, it's been happening in the drama community since the beginning of it. But even worse than that, there's a bunch of stories of someone getting mad at someone and driving to where they are. And um, exactly, lots, lots of screenshots and everyone looking crazy. It's just, it is what it is. If it does bother you, um, yeah, I can imagine who it is. Some of the, the posts that are made about me that the people that like me, it really, really like uh, hurts them or whatever. And I appreciate reporting it and stuff, but, um, I really do, especially if it's nasty, 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 but I have to just ignore it. Oh, yay. Um, I keep getting job notifications for, um, Miami, but it looks like they changed where they're sending the notifications to now my area. I'm not, I'm going to do, I want to do something different when we get back from Colorado. I haven't decided exactly what yet, but, um, oh good. Yeah. We've all seen what you got down there, little beast. Everyone's seen everything. And I guess my question about that is, do you regret that? Do you regret that it's going to follow you forever? Because the quote that comes to mind is why buy the cow when the milk is free? So your milk is all over online. So I don't think that anybody is looking to buy the cow when they can see all the milk online. Just saying. Uh, and they especially don't want someone who has pictures of grainy, B-rated. Yeah, I'm sorry. They just aren't looking for that. Not, and like I said, like let's, nobody's going to want to take that home to their mother, right? Nobody's going to be like, want to say, here you go. Um, this is, you know, and you just kind of hope they don't look online, but you know, it's worked for some people like, um, Shannon Rose, she's gotten married. Um, hold on. Really, Karen, I don't see it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, there it goes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Karen, so some of the clips that have made their way around, we have seen, um, and they're all out there. You know, that's all I can say is they're all out there. Um, there was one where there was a um, when Harry met Sally moment, and um, she was faking it for the camera, and that has become a um, a go-to line that we love to say. It was like, I'm so going to come. And so <laughs> that, while she was like checking her pose or whatever. So in our, in our, um, <laughs> every once in a while, we're like, I'm so going <laughs> to. Anyway, now y'all know the insides and outside. That one, I don't know what it's on. It's like hamster or something like that. I haven't looked in quite a while, thank God. But I it's, it's, it's everywhere. Yeah. It was like, she was trying to pretend that she was getting like, like she, you could only see the camera like from here, like back or whatever. And she was moving her body. Like there was someone back there. And then she's also looking at the camera and she's like, I'm so going to, while she's like checking out her pose, Paula, she was literally doing a body check while she was faking a big O. It was hilarious. Um, I remember that one. That wasn't it, though. This was like a full-fledged, uh, I know, Khaki's like, I could die without that knowledge. Yeah, it was, um, for a while, it was like, you know, and, and then it's like, 
Well, and who would want to watch that when it's your husband's ex? Freaking everybody. Who wouldn't? <laughs> who wouldn't? You know, <laughs> I don't think he hadn't seen it, but who wouldn't want to see that? Your, your, <laughs> your husband's ex, who, by the way, is a bitch, ends up all over the internet and she put herself there. Come on now. Um, um, <laughs> yes, she said, did that fake. Oh, I think it was, I hope she made good money off of it. I think you can always tell when there's a weirdo giving her money for something. And right now it's a weirdo that must be giving her money for dressing like a, like a little redneck girl and driving that hoopty around because like either that or the money's good when she does it, because that's so not who she is. She's not the type to, and so I'm like, well, I wonder, I was like, you know, like what, how does someone get a hold of you and say, you know, in the eating, I think that the, the, um, when she's eating, I think someone likes that, especially when she eats messy, someone likes that. <laughs> I think someone likes that. Um, yeah, but you might be, that might be it, Loretta. Um, someone, well, yesterday, I, last night, I thought her hair, you okay, Sawyer Brown? I thought her hair was wet. Um, she was cooking or whatever, and I thought her hair was wet, but it never dried over like the hour and 87 minutes or 88 minutes. It never dried. So it must have been grease. And I was like, oh, um, that's, that's a lot of grease. You know what I mean? Like, that's a lot of grease. Um, it never dried. That's what I'm saying. At first, I was like, well, at least she washed her hair, you know? And then I'm like, um, I'm like, because I, the, one, because the um, stream was, I couldn't get it to connect. So this is where it's at is where the stream is. I'm not trying to say it's like, it's lit or anything like that. I'm just trying to say, this is where my stream is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it was, it never dried. And so I was like, oh, and then um, just, <laughs> I don't know. You weren't the only, yeah. Um, oh, it was all over his sweater. See, I haven't seen it. No, but yeah. I had a friend who used to say, I need to take a, her, about herself. I need to take a shower. My hair is so greasy. I could fry an egg on it like that. And I remember I used to be like, uh, but it's true. You look at it and you're like, that's enough grease that you could, legit fry an egg like in the summertime on the concrete like you could totally do it you know what I mean so but um that's what I'm saying though hey sorry Ron that's what I'm saying though like when she's like who cares about their what the ex when she makes a fool out of herself everybody um every current wife probably especially when the, the other one's evil look say hello say hello say hello say hello Say hello. That's all you're wrong. People have to agree that he is very, very cute. You know what I mean? You can not like my car and not like the, um, and not like the, the, but you can't not like the dog. You can't not like the dog. He's ready to go. He knows we're going to run and get iced tea in a second. Um, I had some big ins, but well, and the first thing, <sighs> yeah. It's, I think we all like, I did when I had surgery and, and just drastically lost weight, I felt like I had udders for a while, but then your body starts to redistribute, um, whether you gain, um, weight back or not after a dramatic quick weight loss, your body just took the fat from wherever, but then your body will start to redistribute it when you, um, when you, as it settles in. And that's the truth. That's the truth. Your body starts to fix itself and put it back where it went. But thank you guys. I, I love, <laughs> there you go. I can say, I love sitting here and hanging out with you guys and whether we talk a little drama or we, whatever, it doesn't get nasty and dirty and we keep it uplifting and, and, um, at the end of the day, don't take yourself too seriously because nobody else does. That's what I always say. I'm like, you know, we, some of us are the only people we ever think about. And I think that's pretty, um, thank you. I think that's pretty, um, standard whether you're a narcissist or not, but 
when you can laugh at yourself. And I do that a lot. Um, thank you. I really do appreciate it. You guys. Um, I don't know, uh, like ongoing what the subject matter will be like that we talk about, but something will come to us or we'll just keep shooting the shit. But anyways, um, I love you guys. We're going to go get some tea and I will see you next time. Bye.